Problems or faults can occur in a transformer due to poor design, overloading, or poor maintenance. By measuring the resistance of the windings, we make sure that connections are correct and there are no severe mismatches or open circuits. So, what is the purpose of the winding resistance test? To check the resistance of the transformer winding and hence copper losses, which are also called as I square R losses. Quality and condition of windings, loose joints and poor connections, broken stands in winding conductor, any open turn in the winding. That's how open turns look like. Greater resistance means greater I square R losses. Similarly, most of the transformers have taps built into them. These taps allow the turns ratio to be increased or decreased. The ratio change will involve a mechanical movement of contact from one position to another. So the resistance of these tap connections must be measured to check for any loose connections. So winding resistance test is also used to check the resistance of tape changer connections. Next we explain the procedure of the winding resistance test. In this test DC current is injected into winding through two current leads and the resultant voltage drop is measured through two voltage leads. Current leads are always connected outwards whereas the voltage leads are connected inwards. In a winding connected in star connection, the resistance of a phase is measured by connecting the test set between phase and neutral. So first we connect current leads to phase and neutral and then we connect the voltage leads to phase and neutral. In a delta connected winding, the resistance is measured between any two phases of a winding. First the current leads are connected with the two phases and then the voltage leads are connected to the phases. As we know that in delta connection, the individual winding resistance is not measured directly. First we calculate the resistance between two phases through the winding resistance test set. Then the individual winding resistance is calculated using the following formula. The winding resistance are measured for each tap position. Note that in winding resistance test, temperature is always corrected at standard value of 75 degrees Celsius. So the correct winding resistance value must be calculated at 75 degrees Celsius by using the following formula. Here RST is the final resistance value at standard temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. R test is the resistance obtained from the test at a particular temperature. T standard is the standard temperature which is 75 degrees Celsius. T test is the temperature at which the test is being conducted. Tk is temperature constant which depends on the material being used. Tk is equal to 225 for aluminium whereas it is 234.5 for copper. Now we come across the interpretation of this test. We compare the winding resistance results of all the phases. The difference between all phases must be less than 1%. As an example, a sample result for winding resistance test of a transformer with 5 tap positions is given. We can see from the results that the winding resistance of red phase is far higher than yellow and blue phases. So the test result shows that high voltage red phase winding is faulty. When to perform this test? Well this test is performed at the time of new installation of the transformer, in fault scenario and during annual testing. Next we explain that what precautions should be taken during the execution of the winding resistance test. First, the winding resistance test should be performed at last after performing all other tests because it charges both winding and core of the transformer and hence can affect values of other tests. We must de-energize windings after the test. Similarly, we must de-energize core after the test. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe our channel for more videos and ask any question in the comment section.